You are just being so cute for the camera right now. What a show off. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing some meal prep for Zeus. I'm going to be preparing all his food for the next week to two weeks. We'll see how long it lasts. So this week Zeus is going to be 13 weeks old. He has been eating a raw food diet since I've got him and he's doing really well if I do say so myself. He has lots of energy. Well, He's either sleeping or running around like a crazy cat. Anyways, so the plan for today, I haven't been following a really strict recipe when I've been preparing his food. I try to follow the rule of 80-10-10. So 80% 10, 10. So of his food is muscle meat, 10% is bones, and 10% is organs with 5% of that being liver. And I talked about why I have chosen to feed him this way in a previous video. So I'll link that up above if you want to check it out. But basically, this is what cats should be eating. They do not require carbohydrates and most generic cat foods are filled with carbs. But that's the short answer. So check that video out after this one. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so here is what I'm going to be prepping for Zeus today. The first thing we have is these chicken necks. What I'm gonna do with these is half of them I am just going to cut up into smaller pieces. What happens is he tries to get the meat off the bones and it's really good for their teeth. The other half I am going to grind up the meat and the bones together and that is going to be his source of bones in his diet. Then I have some chicken giblets, so just gonna chop these up into a little bit smaller pieces. I don't really wanna grind anything up too much. I want him to have to chew um, to eat it. Then I have some chicken livers, so again, just gonna cut those up into smaller pieces. And then I just have some diced lamb. So as you can see, this was on special, that's why I grabbed it but really any type of meat, diced or not, will do. So yeah, as you can see, this is $4. I'm only gonna give him a small fraction of this and then freeze the rest separately and use that later. This was $6, this was $3.50, and this was $9. So $20 in total for everything I'm gonna prep. This will probably last about 10 days to two weeks, depending. So the one thing I'm gonna mention is that I haven't found a type of heart that Zeus will eat fresh. I've given him beef heart, lamb heart, chicken heart, and he hasn't been keen on any of it. So what I've been doing is when I serve his food, sometimes I add this heart powder and this is just freeze dried beef heart. The other thing I might add when I serve it is either some of these dried sardines or else I'll give him one of these capsules, not the whole thing, I'll just poke a hole in it or cut it in half and give him between a quarter to a half of a whole capsule. And that's his source of omega-3s, one of these. And yeah, let's get prepping. So I have a whole bunch of little containers. We're gonna start with the easy part, which is just chopping everything up, and then I'll show you what I do with the chicken necks afterwards. And I don't wanna cut everything up into pieces that are too small. I want him to sort of have to chew on it, chew through it, sort of work to eat it and this will help keep his teeth nice and strong right from the start. And he loves these chicken giblets. He loves chicken in general, actually. Chicken livers. 
So I only want 5% of what's in everything to be liver. So I definitely will not be giving him this whole thing. Okay, and now we're gonna do the chicken necks. So these obviously have bones in them, they're chicken necks, but they also have um, muscle meat on them. So what I'm going to do with some of them is cut them up into pieces like this. And then again, good for his teeth, he just has to chew and try to get the meat off of them. So I'll put like one or two of those in for each day. Them. I'm gonna try to break them down um, and then I'll put them in my blender so I will blend up the meat with the bones and then that's his source of bones that he's gonna get. And there you have it. This is Zeus's food for the next week to 10 days, probably. So what I do is I'm gonna put all of these in the freezer and each night I will take one out and that will be his food for the next day. I give him about a quarter of it first thing in the morning and he usually eats that right away. And I pretty much just keep refilling his bowl as it empties. I don't let anything sit out for more than a couple hours. I get rid of it if it is still sitting out. But yeah, I pretty much just let him keep eating and keep eating. He is a growing kitten, so he needs a lot of food. Like I said before, each day I will add a quarter to a half of a fish oil capsule as well as some beef heart powder. But I mean, I think it's a lot about experimenting and seeing what your cat will eat. The next batch of food I make, I'm going to completely switch things up, get different types of meat, different bones, different organs, different everything. And that's it guys. So that literally took 30 minutes, probably cost me 20 bucks, which actually might seem a little bit expensive, but you have to keep in mind, I didn't use all of those chicken necks. I didn't use all of the chicken liver. Probably cost about, let's say $7 a week. But yeah, really no time at all, super easy. And my kitty will stay super healthy. So thank you so much guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and also click that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you don't miss a video. Lots more cat content to come. Thanks again, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.